What's up for the Mobile Gaming Fanatics? I'm my time to WWE Supercard and I'm back after a long delay with new, should we say, energy, new vigour to try and actually progress again in this game. And as we can see here on a login reward, there is a Stone Cold Steve Austin WrestleMania card up for grabs. Season 3 has been confirmed and all this kind of interesting stuff has, should we say, re-energised me in terms of playing Supercard. Now, why is this video up? It's not to talk about Season 3, guys. We will do that in the future. There is still quite a lot to be confirmed about Season 3. But Season 2, the season we're in, the only season that I've played from the start, because I joined Season 1 at the very end, which is why I'm looking forward to Season 3, because then I can actually, should we say, start the game knowing what I want to do and kind of make some better decisions to help me get towards the top of the game and the end game a lot quicker and a lot more successfully. We have a SummerSlam tier. Now I'm not going to show you all the cards in a moment. There are 100 new cards uh, at, well, 50 if you include doubles, but there's, there's 100 here as it says obviously that you can get. There's some new cards in the game. We've got people now like the Vaud Villains, uh, Cass and Enzo, Dinah Brooks, there's some old classics like there's a Brock Lesnar, there's a Page one and this is kind of what brought me back really to Season 2, the new SummerSlam cards. I'm not probably going to play this quite as quite as dedicated as I did, you know, halfway through this, the actual Season 2. I was playing a lot, doing all the events, getting all the event cards. I'm probably not going to be quite that dedicated, but I am going to try and get some of these summer stamp cards. Now, the very first event is going to be, I think it's, I think it's Ring Dom, Ring Domination, and then it's Road to Glory. And the card has been confirmed. The event card will be Finn Balor, so that's pretty cool. The undercards. Now, I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. There's going to be a WrestleMania undercard, and there's going to be a SummerSlam undercard, as you can see here. They're coming soon. Let's just actually see if we can come into my deck and auto fill. Because, as I said, I got rid of a lot of, I so much a lot of cards, but I haven't used used the game for a while. So it puts me in WrestleMania plus plus. Now, I might not be able to get this Finn Balor card. I'm going to have to try and work on my deck, see if I can get myself strong enough to actually be able to get that card. And to work on that, I can use some of my money in the bank. I've got a money in the bank Roman Reigns Pro that I can do. But just before we go to that, and just before I show you a few other things, before I actually do play a couple of games and see what my first SummerSlam freebie is going to be, for being in that tier, money in the bank, it's changed. Okay, It has changed, people. Oops, we'll forget that. If we have a look here, 9,920 credits to get that Becky Lynch card. 7,310 for either Rusev or John Cena. And these are special WrestleMania Battleground cards. I think that Cat Daddy realised after that first money in the bank with Reigns and Rollins that 50, I think it was 5,600 something like that. It was give or take around there. 5,400 something like that contracts was basically too simple to get the pros. So six days remaining here. I only have 4,000 contracts. I do not think I'm going to get a Becky Lynch pro. I really, really, really could do a Becky Lynch pro. My Divas are, phew, yeah, well, they're basically non-existent now. I'm not playing the game for two months. I'm way behind. So I'm not too sure whether I'm going to try and grind out some contracts and see if I can push through a Becky Lynch pro or if I'm going to just hold them up, see what happens in seven days' time, see what the rewards for money in the bank are. Maybe I'll bring out a WrestleMania, um, sorry, WrestleMania, a SummerSlam one. If they do, I could be a fair chunk of the way towards that. I'm going to guess if these WrestleMania ones are 9,900, then a SummerSlam one is going to be somewhere in the region of probably 12, 13, probably 1,300, something like that. Maybe even 1,400, they might try and do it. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to wait and see. So next week, next week I'll make my decision. I'm I'm, I'm in an R in here because I could I could get it. I could put in the hours. I could actually do enough ad watching, get the free bounce and push through to try and get that pro. It would be worth it. Okay, it would make a massive difference to my team. But, but 
can I dedicate that much time in a moment? I'm not too sure. We have a fusion going on as well, 19 hours until this survivor card is done. And I'll be able to go straight back into the chamber to make another WrestleMania fusion. Now let me show you my free WrestleMania fusions that I have to. Now this is basically the only reason I've been logging into the game is for these fusions. So I have The Rock, Triple H and Trish Stratus. Now if I can make a pro in the next WrestleMania fusion, it will go a massive way to helping me in King of the Rings and everything because I have none of the event cards. I've got two event cards here. I've got that, who is it? Um, Sami Zayn and Nakamura. The only two event cards I have that are pros. I can pro up this Roman Reigns pretty soon. The first one here is all ready to go. It's just the second one that I've got that I'm working on. If I can pro him up as well, that will give me a chance. If I can get this Rock or this Triple H, especially the Triple H would be awesome. Um, it, it will give me a chance in King of the Rings again. A chance for me to try and get some better rewards. And that's what I'm thinking of doing. Trying to get back into King of the Rings. Trying to see if I can get myself a Summer Sam card from that. That might be my goal for the next six weeks, two months, until Season 3 comes out. But with that all said, let's go into an exhibition game. I've played enough matches, saved up enough bouts, so I will be able to actually get the card, okay? So, for those of you who maybe may be new to the game, maybe joining season two quite late, like I did with season one, oops, my bad, uh, wondering what I'm doing, basically, for the very, 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 very first time that you enter into a new tier, so for example, I'm going to go from WrestleMania tier up into SummerSlam tier, which you will see in just a moment, by the little star built up there, SummerSlam, first time you go in there, your very first board reset will guarantee you a card of that tier. So, just before we do this, it's worth noting that the event is Ring Domination. So, there is going to be a Summer Slam. As you can see here, there is a Summer Slam event card, which is Finn Balor. I'm not too sure what the regular Summer Slam card is, but I can, even if I cannot improve my team enough over the course of the next three or four days to be able to get the Summer Slam, Summer Slam event card, I can still get a single Summer Slam card. That, if I am lucky, if I am extremely, extremely lucky, my Summer Slam freebie will make a pro with this card here. Now, I don't know what it's going to be, obviously. Um, I'm not sure if it's been released. I haven't checked, but the event starts in a couple of hours. So I can work on the first... I don't really want to be doing the Survivor card, but I can do the Survivor card, then work on the WrestleMania card, as in between. I try and improve my deck enough to get me into that SummerSlam tier. But I would need to make probably an extra pro or two. So I need a little bit of luck with some cards... We'll have to see, we will have to see, but yeah, let's get into it then. Let's play, it's just one game I need to play everyone, okay? It doesn't matter who I play, I intend to lose. My win to loss ratio has been getting shot to pieces recently, okay? I've just, the little bit I've played is just training cards, so oh, I can't do it here because I don't have my Trish Tratters. I don't care if I lose every single match, I'm just trying to train cards, just trying to power train them as quickly as possible just so that I can then use them and have any single Roman Reigns cards etc they're no good for me so I'm just putting them in when I can get double stat matches in they go I lose in 2-1 3-0 most of the games the odd time that I get a win hey great perfect it's an extra board pick I'm not too worried about the board picks I just need to get these cards and the single cards I've got the single WrestleMania cards everything trained up as quickly as possible because if I get a pro I need to get them made and stuck straight into that ring domination deck if I've got any chance, any chance of trying to get this SummerSlam card. So if we can get a pro if we can get a pro SummerSlam single as well, oh, that will do it. My pro one remains a pro SummerSlam single oh, result. So it's a toss up here. It's very likely that the SummerSlam undercard is going to be a male. So I'm kind of I'm kind of torn between do I want to get a diva because a single SummerSlam diva will still be bloody awesome because it's going to be hard to get or do I want the male and potentially have that slight chance that one in whatever it could be one in probably 40 or chance I'm not sure how many divas there are in, in SummerSlam tier but it's got to be probably 8 or 9 so one in 40 is chance of getting a pro anyway let's see okay Jack Swagger I'd love to get Enzo I'd love to get Enzo um, Brock Lesnar they're probably my two. I don't ever ever get Brock Lesnar in any of the good tiers. Not until it's too late. Not until I don't use him. Uh, Enzo or Brock? Come on, Enzo. 
How you doing? Oh, no, come on. Come on. What's it going to be? It's going to go right down to the wire, isn't it? It's going to go right down to the wire. Becky Lynch. Oh, my gosh. The last kicker. Now, come on. These cards do look pretty tonk, don't they? Um, I'm happy with that. Okay. It's not going to be a pro for me, which is <laughs> a little bit of a shame. But, wow. Yeah. <laughs> look at the positives. That is a diva. I'm sure a lot of people would love a diva for their first card. Let's just go and have a little look at that in... Um, sorry. Let's have a look at her co in comparison to the other cards. Now, if we take her as a single card here... She is already stronger than my legendary event Nikki Bella card without even touching her. And she is also... Okay, she's not quite stronger than these single um, free level up cards. But it, she's going to be no time. She's going to be better than, than the single WrestleMania cards. Even when she's only, you know, f 10 levels in. She's going to overtake all these cards. Basically, she a single card of her is going to be stronger or in the same kind of region as that pre Bella card. So she can go straight into my King of the Ring team. So that is, I'm really chuffed for that. I'm really chuffed. It's actually making me almost want to play a little bit more. Try and get in some King of the Rings. Try and see if I can get myself a decent a decent second card maybe. Uh, let's, let's just all oh, I feel this and see where we can get a case. I'm, I can't get into SummerSlam tier just yet. Although I'd probably get destroyed in it. Um, so I have to decide. Is it worth me trying to run a Wrestlemania King of the Ring? You know what? I think it is. I think it's worth me running Wrestlemania King of the Ring. So what I'm going to hope is that a lot of people are going to be moving up into the SummerSlam. And therefore it will be a little bit easier in the Wrestlemania King of the Rings. And if it's a little bit easier, maybe, just maybe, I'll be better equipped to, let's just, let's move one of these guys out. Maybe I'll be a little bit better equipped to, actually, no, 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 let's leave it. I was going to train up my own remains in here, but no, I want to pro him up as quickly as possible. And maybe I'll be a little bit better equipped in terms of being able to win get another WrestleMania card and get a pro. So I'm not going to be making it into SummerSlam tier probably in the next 48 hours anyway. And it's going to be a complete rush. Just, I'm sure all you guys that are in SummerSlam are already starting SummerSlam King of the Rings. Trying to get in there. Trying to get those cards out straight away. Try and get your first pros as soon as you can. Uh, I've I've been really, 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 really happy with not having to worry about King of the Rings. But now that you can get a WrestleMania card for coming just to the semis because of the new tier and the tier and the prices have changed, this is the time now, I think, for me to come in and try and get some WrestleMania cards. This is the first King of the Ring I've done in probably eight, nine weeks. I have not missed waking up to energize, um, setting alarms, etc., to uh, god awful hours just to make sure that I can make the first round, second rounds, all this kind of stuff, quarterfinals. So, wow. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I'm back. I'm going to try and dedicate a little bit more time to this. I'm going to be bringing back the webcam, trying to sort out the setouts. I've also got some other games that I've been playing. I've been playing a ton of games. I've been playing games like I'm into Summon Wars, Star Wars, Galaxy of Heroes, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Legends, Transformers. I'm still in Pokemon Go. And there's a whole host of other games that I've played for a little bit and kind of let them go. All these games I've been playing for free, literally supercar games, uh, my NBA, NHL, the only ones that I've invested any cash into. And I kind of let them go by the wayside. So I'm hoping that this is going to help me to feel a bit more, a bit more, should we say, enthusiastic. Yes, that's the word. I hope it's going to make me a little bit more enthusiastic about the game. And as a result, maybe, maybe, maybe you'll see me progress, move up the ranks in Season 2, and at the start of Season 3, kick off and go straight to the top and be 
one of those guys. Anyway, only time will tell. Thank you very much again for watching, people. As I said, I'm going to try and bring back some more regular content, not only with Supercard, if I can find a way to show my Android phone onto my PC without immense lag. At the moment, I'm finding the delay between the PC and my phone is somewhere around 1.5 to 2 seconds. I've tried with Wi-Fi. I'm trying to get something to work with USB cable, so I was hoping that would kill the lag, but the couple of programs I've tried so far not too successful so if any of you guys do have an Android you've got anything you can recommend me I say I'm not an iOS so if anything you can say use Air or I know there's other things like this it's not going to work at the moment I'm also contemplating getting myself a tablet so I will be able to use both an emulator my phone and a tablet when I'm sitting down playing games watching TV that's how I'm going to try and progress in these games I'm trying to play multiple games grind through them at the same time then I can obviously bring more content to you guys because it's very difficult just if you focus on one game to play one game at a time and do well in them all it's basically impossible that's why i ended up putting down these supercars to focus on some other games but i'm back now thank you for watching i'm going to try and progress and get myself into that summer slam um tier so i can go for the event card i'll be back probably in about 48 hours time with my progress so good luck people take care please let me know what you get for your summer slam freebies i think becky lynch has got to be up there with some of the best ones that you get it's certainly one of the best ones that i've got for my first freebie in any tier good luck people see you all soon